Hey, what is up guys, it's Ujar. Today we are going to be playing as Trindamir, and we're against a Kale. I'm actually going to make a video. I was, I was going to make a video about Kale because I wanted to record with the new item because I really haven't and I should make a, a split pushing uh, Kale video. But we, this guy actually took Kale from us. So we're, I'm actually going to take this opportunity and show you guys how to counter Kale. And the easiest way to counter Kale I'm gonna re I'm gonna regret this because a lot of people are gonna start using this against me. Face rush. This keystone literally completely shuts down kill, and it's not even it's not fair. It's actually not fair. Um, she actually took exhaust against us, which might help her, especially because we win this. Um, we win this by going. By literally using our, our ulti when her ulti is on cooldown. So exhaust might actually help her. But the slow is not really going to help her. Because again, this has a 75% slow resistance. Which works, works amazingly well against Kale. Because of her Q. And well, now because of exhaust. Um, So how to beat Kale is literally push the third minion wave in. And then literally just level full freeze on her. If she goes for anything stupid, just go in. We have face rush. And she can't do anything about that. She can't even slow us because, again, we have a 75% slow resistance. You're dead. And uh, if she gives us a free kill like that, like... Normally, she, that won't, won't really happen, but she went really aggressive. She actually went for poke, but again, like, we have... Uh, very, very low cooldown on them. This is gonna get that back and actually grab boots and another longsword. And this girl is screwed. This is gonna push back to us. I'm gonna start a freeze and literally just freeze with face rush and watch a kale cry. Um, uh, this works with literally any champion. I've seen people pick face rush if you didn't Nasus and completely demolish me. Uh, but Trindamir just. Trindamir by himself is amazing against Kale, so just having like face rush against her, it just makes the matchup way harder for her. This is gonna start pushing into us. This is what I was talking about before. I actually wanted to push in the third minute wave, but since she died, I just pushed in the second minute wave and backed. Right now, what I have to do is thin out the minute. I want it to continue to push into me, but I want to thin out the minute wave so she actually cannot contest the minion wave and she can't push it in so i'm just killing these minions little by little but i want it to continue to push into me guys watch I, that's like right now she's in a terrible spot and right now all i have to do is literally perma freeze on her and what is she supposed to do I, I literally have face rush so if she gets near the minion wave i'm literally just gonna eat into her like what is she supposed to do q does absolutely nothing not even gonna give her um um press the attack proc. Literally just gonna freeze on her. This is literally how you beat a kill. If you ever struggle against kill, uh do this. Let it push into you. Freeze. By the way, uh if you hit your W, if you proc their slow, it actually counts as a face rush proc. Watch. One, two, three. I have face rush. Uh, maybe not the best play. I should be holding this wave in. Like he's literally zoned and she can't. Li she can't farm. She literally cannot farm. I'm literally just gonna uh, hold this wave here. She ha she has to back there. If she if she doesn't back, she's gonna die. She doesn't even have teleport, so. She is completely screwed. Don't push the wave into her. Don't do that, guys. You're literally just giving her... Uh, I'm gonna help you, but I can't right now. I have to hold this wave. Okay, I'm gonna mute you, dude. If I go and help you and like this wave goes in the tower, I'm actually trolling because then it's gonna bounce back to kill. I am your worst nightmare. 
Wait, if you push this wave... Can you please just not... This guy's literally inting, man. Maybe he's just mad that I didn't help him, but you're just stupid if you think I'm gonna help you with a wave pushing like... Uh, if I help him, that's gonna push into the tower, and then it's gonna bounce back to kill, and then kill can farm. So not helping him is the play there. Yeah, this girl's 9 CS, guys. 9 CS. I've had people done like do this to me, and it, it, you literally cannot do absolutely anything. Uh, didn't even hit her with her e, with E, so I can't proc face rush. The other day I was playing uh kill. I mean I got again to kill and I, I was practicing Riven. Because I've been practicing Riven because I wanna show my friend that she's literally free low. And uh, it's kind of insane. I was against a very good kill and I completely demolished her. I got face rush, even with Riven. You just get face rush against kill every single time and she can't do anything about it. Like, what are you supposed to do? She has to uh, exhaust her. If she doesn't, I'm j just gonna uh, run her down with Ignite. And I have a uh, Nimbus Cloak, so again. Okay, so the wave is now pushing into her because I kind of messed up. But it's not the end of the world. I can actually die for. I'm gonna create a slow push here. I'm gonna create a very big mini wave. I'm gonna wait for this next wave, and then I'm gonna like literally uh, shove it in, in her tower and dive her. I have my ulti, and she's level four. So if she stays and she doesn't back, she's actually gonna die. She doesn't have exhaust, so she's kind of screwed. I'm gonna see if I can chunk her down before. Okay, got her flash. Um, I have no face rush, but I can still dive her pretty easily. Oh, oh my god. I actually lost that. Okay. Gonna zone her off here. Gonna ward that. There's literally not much a kill can do against this. Freeze, face rush. If the wave starts pushing into her, create a slow push. Dive her. She's gonna be very far behind. She's level 4, I'm level 7 get some plates here i'm actually gonna take this plate and i'm gonna start um zone her zoning her off the minions this is literally why kill is not really that good in high elo because if the enemy has a brain this champion cannot function function this is so unfair man it's literally so unfair. She can't do anything. Again, guys, if you're against kill, uh, face rush. Just face rush, guys. It, there's literally nothing she can do. That's gonna bounce back to me because... Uh, even, uh, wave actually got stuck there for a second. So it's an even size mini wave, but on her side of the map. So that's gonna start pushing into me. I'm actually just gonna back here. Uh, gonna grab... No, I don't have enough for my item, but I do have enough for this. I grab this. Can I actually grab Gale Force? I don't really care at this point. Uh, Gale Force is amazing against her because um, uh, she can't really kite me out with Gale Force. Although, if I'm being honest, she's not going to kite me out because I have face rush. She literally just got tilted and she's going to go mid. She has 12 CS, man. <laughs> Are we going to lose this game, man? We're actually 4 and 5 right now. This guy's 0 and 5 at the moment. Insane. Uh, she's actually coming top. Maybe I shouldn't have pushed that. We should have just continued the freeze. They might actually switch lanes. Of armor. They might actually switch lanes, which would be uh, very good for them. Because honestly, Kale can't really do anything against me. I might expect the Talia here. Wait, Talia's bots. I'm just going to take this for free. I'm going to take Gale Force this game just because it works really well against their team. Not just kill. They, they can all kite me like decently well. So just going Gale Force is a little bit better instead of cracking this game. Your team has destroyed a turret. 
now right now i'm very very strong so i'm just gonna continue to take their towers again like outer towers on side lanes now give so much gold if she doesn't come like i'm gonna become very very hard to deal with really fast if you don't know how to play Trindomir, like, the, I think this is the best way to counter kill. Not even Aurelia. Aurelia is really good against her, but Aurelia doesn't really work that well with Phase Rush. I think there's just a better and most consistent way to deal with kill. Just freeze on her with Phase Rush. She can do absolutely nothing about that. Oh, Phase Rush, dude. I actually chunked her down really hard. I'm actually gonna stay. Gonna take this. Gonna become really hard to deal with, man. Normally when I play Kale, I, I take face rush against the Nasus. The other time, like there was a Nasus that took face rush. Oh my god. Took face rush against me, and uh yeah. It was not easy. Pretty sure they're coming topside. I'm, I'm just gonna leave here. I don't know where uh Kassix is, so gonna be a little bit careful. He is three and one, three and zero, so just gonna want to be a little bit conservative here. Right, this girl's dead. Amazing. Gonna take this. I'm actually gonna go. I should have went for Navori first. Navori is an amazing item on Trindomir, but I, I think it just doesn't matter. Kill Force is also amazing against uh, Kale. She has 35 CS. She actually farmed a little bit in mid lane. So yeah. Gonna take this. It's just disgusting how abusable Kale is if you actually know how to uh, manage a wave properly. And you take face rush. Most people don't take face rush against Kale though. There's very, very few people that actually know that face rush murders Kale. But if they do, it's just... Completely one-sided, man. I'm gonna try to kill this guy. I have kill for so. Ooh. Okay. To be a little bit careful with Talia there. She has flash because she's still chasing me. If she if she didn't have flash, she wouldn't be chasing me right now. She's really trying to kill me, man. I don't see her with my passive, so I think she just stayed here. Yep. Uh, your passive can reveal if someone's near you because it, it's gonna light up uh, when someone's in that area. I mean, it's your W, not your passive, but still, you, you guys get me. I'm actually just gonna back here. Uh, I can't do math. I'm pretty sure I don't have enough. For I, I can sell my potion, though. I'm actually just gonna, um, clear this in and back. By the way, this girl doesn't have ulti. And I'm gonna have ulti in 18 seconds. So maybe backing here is not the best play. I'm actually gonna try and dive her. I'm gonna wait for my ulti, and then I'm gonna dive her with Gale Force. Uh, she can't do anything. I have Gale Force. I have, uh, Face Rush. So I'm just gonna wait for her. And completely annihilate her. We use her where we use our ulti at the same time, and remember that her ulti has way more cooldown than ours, so. Actually she's just gonna go in. I don't care. Again, what is she supposed to do? I have face rush, man. She can't slow me. I have 75% slow resist. She's literally not a champion against this keystone. To be honest, guys, it, it, like if you actually know how to play with, against kill, this 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 is not even a champion. Like, she's not even. Con it's it's really really bad. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. Just gonna go towards my top side jungle. Uh, Shaker's gonna. Pro yeah, she's gonna try and take the. I'm gonna take this. Wait, why am I building this? I should be building I. Hmm. Shut down. I mean, they're both fine. I think I use a, 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 a better buy though. Yeah, I shouldn't be buying this, especially with my. I haven't played Trindamir in a while, guys, so I don't really know what the best builds are right now. Yeah, I should be building IE. This girl's dead. This will be a slaughter. Face rush, and you're completely dead. Literally just gonna wait for her ulti. Got him. Got three of them. Got three of them. He didn't expect the guild force there. I did die from Talia. If it was only three people, I, I would have killed them all and survived. Unfortunately, Talia was still there. I did kill a lot of them, and they're, we're going to be taking a lot from that. It's, like, bot lane's going to go down because uh, Yumi was top site too, so. Uh, I shouldn't be building this. I am going to build this. And with this dagger, I'm going to go into Blade of the Ring King afterwards. Guys, it doesn't really matter what champion you're playing against, Kale. It doesn't really have to be Trindamir. Just pick Face Rush and freeze on her. It, it, it could be effing Yorick, man. It, it, it could be Yorick. Pick Face Rush. I know Conqueror is amazing with Yorick, but just pick Face Rush. If you can shut down Kale early, like she has 49 CS, man. If you can shut her down early, she's not a champion. Like, look at this. Like, she's literally useless right now. If she had any farm, she would have been able to 1v2 these guys, but. Not much you can do with that champion. Dude, my community's gonna hate me so much for uploading this video. <laughs> it's literally the secret to kill Kale every single game. It's gonna work out for you guys too, though. Like, if someone picks kill on you, just pick face rush. If someone picks your champion, completely annihilate them. This works on any elo, by the way, guys. Just so have to freeze on them. This works on any elo. Like, literally, I've gotten completely shut down by even diamond players. Uh, just because they know that face rush counters kill. Oh, uh, I'm gonna leave. Literally just gonna leave. I don't want them to take a free dragon here. Okay, Kha'Zix is topside, so I'm literally just gonna stay here. I'm gonna wait for Talia to come here, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna murder her. I have face rush. Is she coming this side? You're just dead, dude. You are just dead. I need 2100 for my IE. Oh, by the way, guys, I know a lot of you guys that are watching me don't really play Trindamir, so you're asking yourselves, why, why am I not maxing my... Uh, Ulti, it's because you don't really ma I shouldn't have gun for that by the way. You don't max your ulti with um Trindamir. It's not it's not a good thing to max. It's literally useless. So you don't put you, you you just put a point into it, uh level six, and then you just never put a point into it again. Till level 17 and level uh 18. Where is it before? I'm pretty sure it's level 17 and 18 or something like that. I'm not sure. You just never put a point into it, guys. Reason why I know this, I played. Uh, Trindomir was actually my main before Kale was. I played so much Trindomir, guys. It's 
I actually insane how much I've invested into this champion. The reason why I stopped, I, 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 I only use him as a pocket pick. The reason why I stopped playing him is because, um, what face rush is to kill, Tabby's is to this champion. This champion is literally useless against Tabby's. I'm, I'm literally 3-0 and against my opponent. They build Tabby's and they start 1v1ing me easily. It's just super bad. And Kale, like most players don't know about face rush with Kale. But like ev every single player knows against, like by Tabby's against this guy. You're, you're just, he's just completely useless after that. Uh, I'm going to do that. I actually want the attack speed instead of the AD. I have enough AD. Build this. Then I'm going to go. Oh, uh, uh, grudge. Not even good. I'm not sure. I'm going to build this. And then I'm going to see what, what I should build afterwards. I don't really want any more crit because I have 60% and I do have my passive. which is going to give me more. I'm basically full, full crit right now when I stack my uh, fury up. So... 81% at the moment. Okay, there's nothing here. I actually want to take this tower. I have 100% crit when I'm full fury, so... No real reason to uh, continue to buy any more... Uh, crit, but you can still do it just to stack your passive a little bit faster. Because you will have... Uh... Oh, you're dead. I'm gonna take her ulti there. I don't really mind that. That ulti has a long cooldown, so. Guys, remember to leave a like if you're enjoying the content. Subscribe. If you watch my videos daily, it's might as well just subscribe, right? Helps me out a ton. Uh, this guy's really fed. I actually want to wait for my Gale Force. Gale Force is amazing on Trindamir. Um, it's really hard to deal with Kha'Zix's Trindamir, guys. It's one of the worst champions to deal with with um, Trindamir. With Lulu, with Vayne, they're they're all they're all very bad. So let's just take this. Can't really do anything about that. I don't know where Kha'Zix is, so I'm not going to go for their blue buff. Just get it back. Mm, I shouldn't, really. I, have, I don't have enough of my item yet. Okay, yeah, Kha'Zix was this side, so... Good thing I didn't go for that. I don't have my uh, Gale Force either, so... Okay. I do I do have it right now, so I can actually kite him out a little bit. Trindamir just doesn't work um uh, doesn't really do well against stealth. So any stealthing champion that can actually stealth next to him, so not like not Twitch. Like Akali, Kha'Zix, Vayne. They're all really hard to deal with. Okay. We got two of them. This guy's also going to die because of that. I don't mind that, honestly. Oh, okay. We're good. Oh, this girl's dead. Yeah, they, they they all died because of me. So, again, I'm doing my job. And this girl's completely useless. So, <laughs> they can literally take inhibitors here. Um... Zanya's, Zanya's with Trindamir works really well, and against that team would actually not be, like, that bad. It counters Kha'Zix a, a lot. Mortal Reminder. I'm actually gonna build this, just because they have, uh, Yumi. I can also go for Chengkunk. I don't really think we need any more cooldown because of Navori. Navori is just an amazing item on this guy. Afterwards, you don't really need any more cooldown. Um, the HP doesn't really matter that much. Uh, I think it's just better to grab this because of the attack speed. Yeah, you get the crit, which is kind of wasted, but 
Again, not really wasted because you can stack your passive a little bit easier to 100%. And uh, this guy, when he has 100% crit, is very hard to deal with. He's going to clear mid. Okay, there's still bot side, so maybe I should stay. Not really. I'm going to see if they have the red buff. I'm going to start uh, pressuring top side. They do. Guess he's gonna walk here. Okay. F you, me man. I should just get a back and grab this. I think this is kind of important to buy right now. I should be split pushing bots so my team can take Baron. I don't know what Kalis is doing bot side. She was literally inting man. And she literally is actually inting. Oh, that's actually huge. We're gonna take free Baron off of that. Kind of sad that we we couldn't get to them, but I mean, still free Baron. Someone here. I'm dead. Hmm, gave a 350 gold shutdown there. Kha'Zix doesn't have his ulti. Yeah, that's kind of free. That's kind of free, honestly. We did take Baron there for free. Uh, Kalista didn't have to die there. Like, she, like th the fact that she was bot side. When I was split pushing and there was Baron up is actually kind of dumb. Never do that, guys. If you have a split pusher, let them split push. Don't stand with them. Just go to the opposite side of a map. Take a free Baron or free Dragon at their top side. That's how you're supposed to play the split pushing game. Shaco, man. Oh, Sidebreaker got nerfed, so I'm gonna. I'm pretty sure Shaco doesn't really build it anymore. So that's why he has Kraken. Maybe not. Like, it's still a very, very good item. Not sure, though. It got insanely nerfed from 90% slow to 40%. It doesn't degrade anymore, but, like, still. I don't know what this girl's doing. I don't know why she's literally uh, on a side lane. Okay, this girl has 100 CS, so not as terrible anymore, but, like, still. She did absolutely nothing the whole game when I was completely demolishing the whole team, so. That's what happens. There's people that actually know how to uh, completely demolish kill, and those types of games is where I absolutely cannot do anything in high elo. They completely demolish me, and there's no counterplay to it. Oh, sad. I actually missed that. Okay. I'm gonna take this. They're all mid, so why not? This girl's actually in a killing spree. Oh, come on, dude. Oh my god. Holy F, dude. I actually thought I was not gonna die with that. Should have just ulted, honestly. That's honestly my bad. I should just ulted. Sad. We're gonna lose Dragon there, too. I'm actually inting this game late, late game. I, I, sh I, I should be playing a little bit better. Best play right now is for me to go bot and for mid, take inhibitor. I can pressure bot for free. They can't really deal with me that easily, especially with Gale Force. 
It's just that I'm like I'm playing really really badly in late game. Okay, I should I should be ending this game pretty soon. Should already be over. I'm just not playing that well. I'm getting caught for no reason. Going for these really greedy plays. I don't know what my team's doing, man. Gonna pressure. Like, why is my team top right now? They should just defend mid, honestly. Like, this guy died for no reason, and uh, my team's top for again no reason. It's really hard to carry a game like this where my team's not collaborating. Okay, enemy team's top side, so I'm literally just gonna stay bot, take everything. Be as annoying as I can, guys. Have enough of my items, so. Oh my effing god, man. We got an inhibitor, at least, I guess. Kha'Zix does just so much damage. Holy F. I have to preemptively ult because this guy just literally murders me. That's why I like uh, Zhonya's against him, but I mean... Maybe Iron Elixir of Iron won't really be that bad this game. Should I build Wrath or Iron? Do they have any, ten like, any hard CC? Not really. This guy's W. I'm getting caught a lot by this guy's W. This girl's ulti. I'm li I literally just want to buy it because of the HP though, not because of the tenacity. The HP means I don't have to ult as early against Kha'Zix. I think it's the play. Let me just buy it. This guy's really fed. Maybe I should have just built Sonya's. Like, the both of their AD are really fed, and they're both building lethality, so, like, lethality. Lethality, lethality. Le uh, armor against lethality works amazingly well, guys. This game should have already been over, though. I'm, I'm, I'm not playing well. Okay. Pretty sure I can't really take that inhibitor just right now. I have to catch someone. I'm gonna wait for someone to misplay here. Okay, they're going for my team, so I'm literally just gonna take their inhibitor here. use my guild force to not get hit by her and uh, i'm gonna leave i really want to go for all uh, baron right now yeah they had to back there because if they didn't back i was just gonna take absolutely everything so we just get a free uh, baron here this guy's walking towards our jungle so i'm gonna murder him yeah he has vision gonna starve them from resources you just please die man holy f dude he does not want to die holy fuck i'm actually kind of tilted my brain turned off i was literally next to him and my brain turned off and i was not attacking i'm just gonna go ref It's just so fed. He's really hard to deal against him. Okay, we're good. I misplayed that. It's, it's, it's not even because of him being fed. It's because I misplayed it. I have a lot of pressure from just the inhibitors, man. 
I basically did my job in with Trindomir. Late game, Trindomir isn't really the best team fighter. He gets kited really well. That's why Gilfors works really well against that team. Um, uh, you just have to do your best to take a lot of objectives early game. That's what you're supposed to be doing is Trindomir. Uh, this girl's level 17 with, like, she, this girl's actually very scary right now, even though she was, uh, useless the whole game. It's because this game took 35 minutes, because, yeah, th their team was really fed, and my team was actually inting. And I couldn't really finish the game because of that. I had some opportunities to finish the game, though. I'm not gonna blame my team because of my misplays. I just continue to get caught for no reason. I'm gonna go this side. Uh, I miss time my ulti there really hard. Go for kill right now. I'm not sure why she didn't ult the Jin. You're dead. Okay, we got top inhibitor because they literally turned their brains off and chased me for no reason. Go mid, go mid, please go mid. I'm dead. Holy fuck, man. I can't do shit against this Jin. He's just so fast. I'm actually tilted. I don't know why we went in there. Like, our team was not there. Sad. I just I just followed the Malkai for I'm I'm making like really noob mistakes for no reason. I showed you how to counter kill and then I can't finish the effing game, man. Okay, Shake is literally carrying this by himself. <laughs> oh. I'm actually thinking about selling this and buying Randuins. Like, he has crit, he has lethality, it works just so well against him, and he also cannot kite me. I, I think Randwin's the play, man. Gonna be missing some damage, but at least I'm not gonna be getting two shot by this guy, man. Okay. As long as I don't get, like, two shot by this guy, I think we're good. Or Kha'Zix, like, they're both one-shotting me or two-shotting me. Like, this guy is literally auto-attacking me once and then I have to, like, ult and go away. At least with this, it's really hard for them to kite me too because of the active. I can't go for that. That's why I ward it there. It's just very important to ward in that situation because you don't have vision from this side not gonna go for that he's gonna have to back there and we might get free soul we got his ulti too so I literally cannot deal with this guy. I 
Yeah, this Jin's actually impossible to deal against with his champion, man. Kalista is literally AFK. They're gonna take Soul here. Okay, Shaco can actually deal with Jin a little bit. Yeah, I, yeah, it's just I don't know, man. I'm actually trying to deal against this guy, but it's it's really really hard. They're gonna take Soul, sadly. I can't do anything against that team, man. This is the thing with Trindomir. He just gets countered by so many things that if if if, if he gets kited, you, you're, you're actually useless. I can't kill Yumi because she's on top of someone. This guy kites me because of Gale Force and his passive. Uh, Zanius counters Trindomir. Zanius counters Trindomir. And this guy has stealth. So I'm literally useless against that team. This is literally the only reason why I haven't been able to finish this game. It's because their team is designed to counter a champion like Trindomir. Well, these two really aren't, but Zanius is, so... That's the other problem with Trindomir. Also, one of the reasons why I quit him, not... Well, Tabby's and Zanius. Okay. How are we supposed to win this game? How do we win this game? Literally a 42 minute game, man. And I've been full build for like 10 minutes already, so I'm literally just de-skilling by now. This girl's gonna, like, this girl's almost full build, the kill. Which is kind of sad, but I mean, what can we do? Oh? Zanius completely busted against Trindomir. I traded one for one, which is kind of worth though. Right now, I, I can just hope to trade one for one, guys. I'm literally useless against that team. Oh my god. Okay, Silas. Let's go. Oh my god, what? Silas is a champion in League of Legends. I'm getting carried, man! <laughs> GG, I guess. I actually don't want to upload this game almost because... It's kind of embarrassing that I couldn't end this game. But I did do what I was supposed to do, which was make kill with completely useless, which was the, co the topic of this video. Are we gonna finish this game, though? Are we gonna be able to finish this game? Take this, take this, take this, take this. Take this, take this. It's actually very important that you take that. This guy's still dead, so I'm just gonna go there. Just gonna take red buff, go there, and finish this game. This guy doesn't have his uh, guardian angel anymore, so he's actually a lot easier to deal with. Oh, oh, oh. Dude, this guy was like 0 and 5, like 5 and 15, and he just popped off late game, completely annihilating their whole team. We have to finish now, man. I'm gonna stack my passive here. <sighs> One shot it, man. Game's over, but still, GG. I'm gonna upload this game regardless so you know how to deal with uh, kill. GG. <laughs>